A towel is about the most massively useful thing an interstellar hitchhiker can have. Partly, it has great practical value. You can wrap it around yourself for warmth as you bound across the cold moons of Jaglan Beta. You can lie on it on the brilliant marble-sanded beaches of Santraginus V, inhaling the heady sea vapors. You can sleep under it, beneath the stars which shine so redly on the desert world of Cacrafoon. Use it to sail a mini-raft down the slow, heavy river Moth. Wet it for use in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Wrap it round your head to ward off noxious fumes, or avoid the gaze of the ravenous bugbladder beast of Trull, a mind-bogglingly stupid animal. It assumes that if you can't see it, it can't see you. Daft as a brush, but very, very ravenous. You can wave your towel in emergencies as a distress signal. And, of course, dry yourself off with it, if it still seems to be clean enough. More importantly, a towel has immense psychological value. For some reason, if a strag, strag means non-hitchhiker, discovers that a hitchhiker has his towel with him, he will automatically assume that he is also in possession of a toothbrush, face flannel, soap, tin of biscuits, flask, compass, map, ball of string, gnat spray, wet weather gear, spacesuit, etc., etc. Furthermore, the strag will then happily lend the hitchhiker any of these or a dozen other items that the hitchhiker might accidentally have lost. What the strag will think is that any man who can hitch the length and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle against terrible odds, win through, and still know where his towel is, is clearly a man to be reckoned with. Hence a phrase which has passed into hitchhiking slang, as in Hey, you sass that hoopy Ford Prefect? There's a fruit who really knows where his towel is. Sass means no, be aware of, meet, have sex with. Hoopy means really together guy. Fruit means really amazingly together guy.